everybody welcome back well we are farther north we are no longer in south florida we are on my screen in patio and i'm enjoying the just the touch of autumn that's in the air it's starting to be a little less humid it's a little bit of crispness in the air in the mornings and i have a tree just outside my screen and patio that's always the first tree to change colors and it turns a bright bright yellow and that's what i'm seeing right now are the beginnings of those leaves changing and my japanese maples have already started changing so that puts me in the crafting spirit I don't craft a lot. I craft maybe once every few months, but when I do, I really enjoy it. And since we have a little extra time on our hands lately, this is the perfect time to do that. It, it, what would make it even more perfect if it was a rainy day? I love doing things like this on a rainy day because I just feel like I'm we're using my time wisely and doing something fun so what we're going to do with all of these autumn colors is make autumn decorations that are very similar to a christmas ornament however it's done with autumn maple leaves mums whatever you want to use i have a whole stack of things here because i have a crafting area in my house and i keep all of my things in one area and I use them in different ways each year. And this year, I'm going to make these ornaments. I've made them for Easter in the past, and I've made them for Christmas, but I've never done it for autumn. And so that's what we're gonna do today, is make ornaments for autumn. And what I have is a wire, what I have is a wire tree. Now, what I did last year was cover this in gold and silver ornaments. But I'm going to get this a little closer so you can see what it is. It's just a wire little tree that I found in an antique store. And I don't know what it's actually used for. One of my friends told me it was a pasta dryer, but I'm not sure about that. Unless whoever had it in the past bent these little wires I'm not sure but I have used this for several occasions so that's what we're going to use today now if you don't have anything like this what I think would be even a better idea I just happen to already have this out but try a tree branch just a plain tree branch and let me show you what I'm talking about we have been this is a big one we have been trimming trees and so if you have a tree branch that is about this size look it's perfect you don't have to use a branch like this and stand it up and put you if you stood it up you would need to put it in a container but if you don't want to do that find a branch that is let me break this ah find a branch that is shaped somewhat like this so you can just lay this on your table and you can put the ornaments and let them hang off like this and you, you don't have to have any container for this just lay it on the table and decorate it. so what you'll need are styrofoam balls and these are 2.8 inches now i was looking for smaller ones and could not find them i found these at hobby lobby but i wish i could find some about this size about almost half as big as these and they come in packages of six so i got 12 and i don't know that i'm going to be able to put 12 on this little tree but if you were going to use a branch and you were going to put it across say a mantle you could easily use 12 ornaments so let's use that and then i had gotten these at dollar tree and what amazes me about them is that they're not just a one flower pick there are five flowers on that for a dollar it's the same with the leaves look at this uh, they amaze me so we are going to use those and anything else that I want to uh, pull out of the hat over here this 
beading that is on this tray I had used at Christmas. I have the same beading. Let's see if I can pull it out. I have almost the same beading on some of this decoration. But I think if I put that on here, it's going to look a little too orange. So I'm going to try to break it up just a little. And so we are going to start with this. We have the ball, and then you can use whatever you have to use as a, a hanger for this ornament. I have some raffia twine. I have, it's like a, almost like a raffia ribbon. And I have some like pot, pipe planers, bigger than a regular pipe planer. And it's all in that same color. So I'm trying to decide which I want to use. I think I'm first going to try this twine because I believe it will hang better on these small hooks. But this is perfect as well. If I had a larger branches like on the tree branch, just think about that. You could hang these like this and that would look beautiful itself very rustic looking and this time of year just screams rustic to me now you know this home is not modern in the least so I like a little bit of rustic in the house to go with it if I put something too modern it just stands out doesn't fit in at all and so even though this is a wire tree I'm going to try to make this work so what I will do is look for my scissors, here they are, um, what I will try to do is take this twine, let's see, I think I want it to hang down about an inch or two. Let's try that. Now what I'm doing is cutting this. And then I have floral pins that I'm going to use to make this attached to the foam ball. bending this pin slightly so that I can make this catch the twine because the twine's fairly small and these pins are large. So all I'm doing is putting that just like this. Let's see if that will work. Now I might have to adjust these wires slightly to make them hang straight but that one looks like it's doing well and so that's the beginning you have something to hang it with and then you have something to use to attach your leaves and flowers and what i'm doing is cutting the flowers off of the stem and i'm going to use these first and then if i need to fill in i'm going to pull off these leaves and fill in with those. And I might do it anyway just to add a, some depth to the decoration. But if you don't want to do this in the way I'm doing it, which is just stick these into the styrofoam ball, you can hot glue them. But I don't see any need to actually hot glue these yet. Now I may change my mind, but right now I have been able to attach these to it and in the past when I've done this for other holidays I've never had any problem with them coming out so let's fill this up with mums and then I think after I finish this I'm going to make one with leaves and then you can always do a little of both but you can see that I am just pressing these into this and when I get finished with this it's going to be beautiful. So I did pull off a few leaves from the branches and I'm just pinning these on with floral pins just to add a little bit of interest to it and 
There we go. Can you imagine doing this for Christmas with red Christmas flowers and holly? I have. I've done it. I just have to create something every once in a while for myself. And this is one of the things that I like to do are little, little projects like this. And like I said, this I think is a little out of proportion for this tree, but you can see where I'm going with this idea. I'm going to continue looking for those smaller styrofoam balls because if I'm going to use this tree, I think it needs to be a bit smaller, but it doesn't look bad. So now let's do one with leaves. And what I'm going to do is the same I did with these mums is just take wire cutters and cut them down to about one inch. So I use that to stick into the styrofoam. have a need to make something and be creative you could do this for any occasion this is just perfect with blue or pink for a baby shower you can name a million different ways to use this you just take the general idea and run with it just use whatever colors work for you or for whatever occasion you are using it for I'm going to try not to waste anything. I have these leaves that might come in handy, but the rest is going to be out of the way. So let's start making one with only maple leaves. Now I'm almost finished. I'm going to add a few more leaves. And you can see it's not perfect, but like most things in nature, this is just not perfect. But if you are a crafter who loves perfection and have everything in its place, then you can simply remove each leaf. I'm going to make this one a little shorter. Remove these individual leaves and then hot glue them to the styrofoam. And do it like um, shingles on a house, just one overlaying the other. Now, that is how I'm going to finish out this ornament. And then I'll probably go on and make one that's mums and leaves, but I just want you to see the, the idea of this. And I'm going to hang this one right here for you. This would also be beautiful for Christmas holidays. You know, I mentioned holiday flowers. You could do it all in white, poinsettias or poinsettias, however you pronounce it and have it all white as if it's snowing. It would be absolutely beautiful. And I know I am so ready for all the autumn leaves to change. We are planning a trip in the next few weeks to the mountains and I'm hoping that the leaves there have changed because it's a higher altitude and cooler. So maybe we'll get to see some of that. And of course, if I take pictures, I'll put some on Instagram and then I'll talk about it later and let you know how beautiful it was or if the leaves had changed by this time of year. If they had not, then I'll let you know when is a better time to go. Well, that doesn't look so bad. It's kind of cute. But you know what? We need to try it with a branch so that you can go out and find a branch and use it for your fireplace or a, a table. Let's see. How would we want to do this? We could lay it this way. Now this is just an idea. Let's see. And maybe put this one on this branch and hope it doesn't fall over. But and then 
our mums we could put here. Let's see. Let's break off this little piece here and attach it. Hey, that's kind of cute. I hope this gives you some ideas and I hope that if you haven't started your crafting this might be a good time to get started and if you like this idea please give this video a thumbs up and if you're not a subscriber I would love to have you as a subscriber so tap the subscribe button and follow me on Instagram. Bye! <music>